Hey guys, and today we're going to be making the friendly fish or piranha. In this art project, you get to make a fish that turns into a piranha. I think this is a very fun project, so let's get to it. So, first off, we're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil and a rubber. So, we're going to need to fold this piece of paper in half, like this. And then, we're going to need to flip the front half, and we're going to need to fold that piece in half. So that now, we have a bit that we can open like that. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a fish shape. And then, I'll come back when I've done that. sketch my fish shape and I've made it a little fish shape like this I am going to I'm going to make this with a little curve like so and then I'm going to draw a little eye here and then I'm going to draw A little mouth so now you can do any pattern you want here any pattern that you would like so I'm gonna do squiggly lines which I will make into zebra patterns you can do different colored spots you can do anything you would wish to do you could do stripes you could do anything now I'm going to do this tail a different, so I'm going to just do polka dots here. Just draw a lot of circles. Now that my fish here is done, I'm going to open it up here. So, we're going to go with the top half first. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it this in, and then we're going to make a little curve here like this a little curve and then we're going to join this back bit together here like that we're going to want to make a line there as well so and then we'll connect these together so now that we've got this, we're going to want to make some teeth for our piranha. So we're going to want to take this here. We're going to want to make a big tooth here. We're going to rub out that excess from the mouth. Make a big tooth there. We're going to make a big tooth here. We're going to make a big tooth here. You can continue the line along the way if you wish. But I'm just going to do the same at this bottom here. And I've made some teeth. For my piranha okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue my pattern all the way down and then I'm going to continue the pattern on the um, tail so that I can make the piranha and the friendly fish join together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, see look now it's a friendly fish and now it's a piranha. So I would like to do this but if you don't want to do it this fine I'm going to draw some fish. So what you want to do is you want to I'm just going to do some average fish like this so the fish are running away from the massive piranha because he wants to eat them I'm gonna make one half eaten I'm gonna make a tail here so all the fish so all the fish can run away from him so next up what we're going to do is we're going to color in our 
friendly fish and our piranha. So what I would like to do is I'm going to make it tiger stripes. So I'm going to want to do, I want to make pink tiger stripes. So I'm going to go pink, black, pink, black, pink, black, pink, black. But if you don't want to do that, then you can do any pattern with your colour. And then with my pattern, I'm going to do purple dots and a blue tail. And then colour in the fish in different colour. And then I'll finish my fish and then I'll come back when I've done that. So let's get to it. So now that my fish is coloured, I'm going to colour my little fishies and then I'm going to do the sea around it which will be this dark blue colour um, and all my fishies will be other colours so one will be yellow, one will be green, one will be red, one will be orange so it will be all different colour varieties so let's get to it. colouring my friendly fish or piranha it's now it's fish <laughs> so this is my friendly fish or piranha and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to do it and I hope you find this art project super fun bye